Welcome everyone to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. This is my new name, <laughs> Jewelry by Monique. I told you guys I was going to change it. I think that um, that makes it a little bit shorter and easier. Nothing's going to change, just that. So it is Jewelry by Monique. I hope you guys will understand that that is helping me out somewhat. Um, it's an easier name to Google or look up so you guys keep your fingers crossed that this might help some um, thumbs up is wonderful if you guys are liking everything I'm doing or most of what I'm doing um, I'm doing another five dollar video so maybe you guys will like that anyway give me a thumbs up if you will um, Probably as you're coming in, if you forget, you can do it going out. I don't care. Either way is fine. Um, I have some more $5 jewelry. If it's a really tiny piece, I'll probably put two together. But let's go ahead and get started here. Now, if you'd like to register with me, you just need to send your shipping address, your real name, and your PayPal email address. Okay? And then once I get that and you're registered, you can purchase anything you you know that your little heart desires, so um, or anything from my video anyway. And um, we'll just go ahead and get started. Remember, we don't purchase items in the comments below the video. Um, I don't get all my comments, so that's why we had to change that back. It's been a while, so I was noticing comments that were on my notifications that weren't under my video. And I'm thinking, what is going on here? So we decided to go ahead and um, just do it through my email address and everything works out perfectly that way. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna start grabbing things. Okay, we have a crocheted, beautiful, that looks almost like the Gucci, doesn't it? Black and gold. Um, woven seed bead bracelet here this thing is just beautiful it's got the pretty little bead there it is actually three sizes this is the Florenza ring and it's got one little stone missing where's it at can't even tell oh right there if I don't find a green stone I guess I'll just have to keep it <laughs> no, it's for sale. It's not five dollars, but it's for sale. Okay, so this is right at probably seven and three quarters. It's a little bit bigger. So it's seven and three quarters at the longest. Let's see. No, it's really eight. And then it is probably seven and a half and then seven. Wonderful. So as is everything in this video, this is $5. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I hope my lighting's doing it justice. Because it is pretty. Okay, next, I have a big, huge bundle over here of jewelry, so. We might have a couple days of this. We've got tangles, that's always a good sign. Okay, we have check glass. It's just beautiful. It's on a very vintage barrel clasp. These are kind of a white frosted seed bead in between each piece. Look at those designs. Isn't that pretty? So this is it's kind of a froggy green and a lighter green, maybe a seafoam green with a little bit of black accents. This is eight, 16 inches total. And this is a pretty, this would be pretty for the summer. Okay, next, I'm itchy, sorry guys. Oh, my favorites. Okay, we have dragonflies, the little crystals. I haven't seen these in a long time. So these are five dollars. I just need wiped, I think. Hold on here. Yeah, these have been put up for quite some time. 
Hold on. Okay. So, I'm going to put five on these. I think they're just darling. Not sure what that is. Hold on, guys. Do -do -do. I always sing that in the baby's ear and he just laughs. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, it does have what looks like a little bit of glue or something there. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll put another pair of earrings with this to make it five. I mean, you can wear those. Nobody's going to notice it but you, you know. So we've got these little cloisonne little eggs with a hole in them. So I'll put these two together. At five. These are pretty. We have a gnat. I do not like gnats. I do not like a gnat. So that's the only little boo right there. Okay, so these two are five. So I'm over here. Okay, I have a pair of um, kind of hammered metal. These are maybe alpaca, could be. They're not sterling. They have nice backs on them. They are, these are cold. Um, to me, they look like glass. I'll show them to you up close. I'm gonna get you. Did I get him? Dang on it. See that? And I think, now these come up as lapis, but I don't think they are. But anyway, they're so pretty. These are about, Mm, three inches total. Very pretty. They could be, they could be just glass, imitation lapis, but it doesn't matter because they're gorgeous. So this set is, of course, you know what? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm getting tangled. Uh -oh. Okay, let's do this little set. I don't know why this didn't sell before, but these are chilies. Next time you go to someplace for Taco Tuesday, this is the outfit of the day. This is the jewelry set for the day. You have your peppers, your jalapeno, or your, these look like those little red peppers that will kill you. It's like a death pepper. There's a, you wanna hear a story? Okay, little girl. The house up on the hill, down from my house, um, probably about a half a mile or so, which is on the same road that I'm right living right off of now, there was an old farmhouse, and they were getting ready to do all this construction, and she always sold stuff from her garden, and she was one of my dad's, the family was a patient, it was patients of my father, who was a doctor, family doctor, and so we go and park in the driveway. I'm probably four, maybe five. And mom gets out and I kind of get out and she's like, no, you need to stay in the car. I'll be right back. The bag, she's already put all the corn and everything in a bag. And I see this most beautiful bush and it has these little red, yellow, green, bright colored little peppers. I don't know they're peppers. I just think they're, I don't know what I thought they were, fruit or something. So mom's like, um, get back in the car. And she said, oh gosh, please don't touch those. You won't like those. Those will hurt your, you know, burn your mouth or something like that. So I get back in the car and shut the door. Well, as she's inside talking, guess what I did? Yeah, I did. I went out there and grabbed, I think it was a yellow one and got in the back in the car and took a big bite. Oh my God. Yep, yep. So I kind of spit it out, threw it outside. Mom got back in the car. She, she didn't know, but I was like in agony. 
sitting there on the seat and um, she told me to hold the bag. So when I held the bag, of course, I put the bag by my face and just kind of hid my face because I knew she would know. I about died. That was awful. Awful, awful. Okay, this is right at 16 inches. So don't eat little peppers that look like that. Okay? And don't, especially not when they're in a cute little bush. Yes. Do not do that. This is so cute. Now this is the necklace. So this set is five. And those are glass. Those are really, really cute glass. Little charms or whatever you want to call them. Very pretty. Um, you can think of me when you wear them. Okay. Now we have a little bitty cat. I don't know where this cat came from. I, I really don't. I don't see a mark on it, but it's cute. He's got his little tail up. He looks like he's getting ready to wrap around your leg. It irritates you. There you go. He is cute. I'm gonna put something with this. Um, let's see. What should I put with the kitty? Oh, this is pretty. You know, this is the cutest ring. This is like a little opalite. Just a little cabochon. It's just, just a piece of glass. Sounds like glass to me anyway. I don't know who made this. Um, hold on here. Let me check it. I'd love to check it. It might not have a mark on it. I don't see anything. All I see is a, I don't even know what, a G and a, I don't know what that is. Looks like a G. No, it's upside down. It's FJ. <laughs> Hold on here. Is that FJ? Looks like a FY. Yeah. And I, I have no idea. It is not sterling, but it looks sterling. It's got little crystals. And they are so cute. There are crystals all around this opal. Opalite. It's not an opal. This little opalite cabochon. Let me show it to you. This thing is darling. Isn't that pretty? And it's big. It's a bigger ring. So I'm going to sell the ring probably for five and just throw the cat in. Poor kitty. I'm just going to throw you in there. Um, this is a nine, almost a nine and a half. Now it does have the tiniest bit of wear there, but you can't really see it. Yeah, looks pretty good. So there's that. So these two right here, nine and a half, and the kitty are five. Okay, now we have, this is so sweet. I got lotion on my hands again, it's getting on everything. It's even under my nail, hold on. I got lotion under my nails. I was in a hurry. I had to go to the UPS store. I shipped off somebody's, I won't say who, um, somebody's jewelry jar that I put in a bag. It came up to about um, 1160. It was almost four pounds. It was three and a half pounds, something like that. And it came up, the shipping was 1160. That's not bad for almost four pounds. It would have been the same if it was right at four. Um, so if anybody's interested, they're 20. I think I've got three jars left. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I've got three full jars left. And the shipping's going to be under $12. So you won't get the jewelry jar. So if anybody's interested, it's mainly vintage, all wearable, different pieces. I don't know what's in them. I had a huge group and separated them and just kind of put them in. Everything will be individually wrapped as much as I can. Um, it will be in a bubble wrap bag and then it'll be in a plastic bag over the top. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I've got three left. 
And if they are not sold by this weekend, they will go into my rummage sale. And I will sell them for cheap. Okay. It is stainless steel, I do believe, and it's dolphins. Aren't they cute? Look at that. So this is a little smaller. It's probably fit about a six and a half, seven. It is marked. It is chisel. C-H-I-S-E-L. Stainless steel. I was right. So this is beautiful. And this is five. Like everything. And it should fit about anybody. Size probably seven and a quarter. The opening is about two and a quarter. But it gives. It gives. I should open some. Okay. That's so cute. Okay, so we got that summary. Um, we have some, let me check these. I don't know, they look pretty good. These are cute. These are black and white, or black and cream. Cream was a really popular color in jewelry a while back. Are those black or blue? They look a bluish black. Now, I think those are blue, guys. Cream and blue X's. These are definitely clip-ons. And let me check for a mark on these. I don't think there is one. These are cute. We'll see. Okay. Make a mark. No. Aren't those cute? But along with these, I'm going to put another piece set up. Okay. Along with that, I'm going to put... Where did it go? Oh, here it is. It is like a thick herringbone, kind of the old-style herringbones that don't bend or anything. Um, looking for a maker mark. It has just the tiniest bit of wear. None on the actual metal piece there. Let's see. Now, I don't see a mark. So, I'm going to put this with the earring. And it is approximately, probably right at seven and a quarter. So you've got this, which is very pretty. Isn't that nice? And these earrings. Okay, so that is $5. Next we have, oh, this is so pretty. I'm not real sure about this one. Um, let's do something fun. Okay, here's some rings. Okay, this is a smaller ring. This is crystals, little crystals, and a center stone there. And this is actually Juicy Couture, I do believe, or Victoria's Secret. Let me check. Yep, this is Juicy Couture. This is a size 5. Let me check and see. It says it's a 5, yeah? $5. It's about five and a half. And, I mean, it's really, really pretty. It's not really worn at all. I'll show you how neat it is. I wish it would fit on my pinky. My pinky's too small. Let's see. Does it go here? Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So, this... Um, Juicy Couture, size five, almost five and a half, five and a quarter, let's say five and a quarter is five. Okay, next we have, this one is, this is in great shape. Oh, this is Avon, guys. Does it say a size? No, this is Avon. Um, yeah, this is in really good shape. 
This has three little crystals, rhinestones, inside the three little flower buds. Oh, it's big. It's nice. So this is about a nine and a half also. Isn't that cute? It is nine and a quarter. Let's turn it this way so you can see it better. And it's in fabulous shape. Yeah, it's not worn at all. Okay, so we'll do five on that one. They're just in fabulous shape. Now these, I don't know where they came from. I've had these for a long time. Okay, so these two are just too cute. Show them to you. There's those. Should have put them the other way. So there's this little, almost like a twisted, a scalloped one in there. And then this one. These are all costume pieces. I don't see a mark on that. I don't see a mark on that. I might just put these all together. I don't see a mark on that. So then we have this. Oh, that's kind of cute. So we've got, this is rose gold. Are the crystals, yeah. There's rose gold with all the crystals. Oh, then we've got that. These are little stackers. And that. And I'll give you a size on these. Then you've got these stackers there. That's cute. Um, I'll put these all together for five. Let me see your size. The large band. The thicker band is right at an eight and a half. And that's that one. These should be close to the same, I would think. No, they're not. Okay. The first little band is eight and a half. Let's see what this one is. This one's, yeah, it's about, they're about eight and a quarter, eight and a half. So that would match that. So we would, could put these two together. So that's an eight and a half. And like I said, they're costume. And then these two, I think are the same size. This one is about six, and almost a seven, six and three quarters, right at a seven. And so I think this one is too. So these two are about a seven, that one's seven and a quarter. So is this one, I think. Yeah, they're almost the same size. I think one of them's just a little bit bigger than the other. Okay. Then we have this, which is right at an eight. And this one is also an eight. So, you'll get all of these. It's taking a long time for this to be. Okay, so there are those for five. Okay. Just little costume stackers. They're not sterling or anything. Okay. Now, what time are we at? Oh, we're doing great. Okay, next, we have a little Lucite mesh tassel. This thing is so cool. It's just super long. It's very nice. Isn't that cool? And it is not marked. Look at the tassels. Wow. Okay, so this is probably at the knot. It is... About 32 inches plus another six or so, five. So it's about 38 inches total. 
and it is spectacular. And the silver tone is perfect. So, we'll put that one over there. We have another one here. Very classic little crochet gold tone. There. I think it's a little bit shorter. So there's that one. And there's a second one. I think I'll put these two together for five. These are darling. Okay, let's get a measurement on this first one. Yes, it is six and a half. And this one's a little bit bigger. Okay. No, they're both about the same. Hmm. So this one is six and a half also. There. So these are short. They'll probably fit me perfect. So these two are six and a half. And they are five dollars. Just for people that are jumping through the videos, I'm just making sure that they know. Oh, these earrings are so pretty. These earrings are so silver. And the rhinestones are so pretty. And it's like an angel. And on the back, there's nothing on these. It's just like a button almost, you know. No, I don't see any writing. These are gorgeous. These could be stainless. But these angels, they're worth five dollars. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's pretty. They're like a little um, coin. And they are right at two inches. Very pretty. Oh, these are fun. Okay, so I have a set of two pieces again. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is a little magnet here. And it is like a little peacock colored shorter necklace. It's very cute though. No, it's not that short. It's almost 15 inches. And I think I'll put my little frogs with this. This is a little um, artisan glass piece. You have the little square. Then you have the frog. If you can see, the frog is sitting on this little kind of, um, looks like a little green tube. And you see his front legs, there's his body, and there's his feet. And they go like this. Aren't they cute? So this set will go together. And they are about a little under an inch. They're just too cute. So these are artisan made. These are nice. And that's together. And don't forget that has a magnet closure. Okay, next I have two bracelets. This one is a Monet. This one is, I'm not sure. I don't think this one's marked. Nope, I don't see a mark. It's very pretty and very shiny. It's like, um, almost like a tri-shaped herringbone here. This is a Monet, which is worth a lot more than five. There's the clasp. There's the, there's that. Beautiful white beads. Very gold tone. No wear on either piece. They are, that one is right about seven inches, and this one is seven inches, okay? So those two together. Okay, Let's see, we're at 29. Let's do a few more. Um, we have this little beauty, and it's stainless. I don't think it's marked. I remember right. It is gorgeous. You have kind of a light blue, a yellow, um, 
kind of a green. Yeah, and it changes as you get it on your wrist. It's very pretty. This one's a little smaller. It opens, its opening is about two and a quarter. And let me do a measurement on this one. It's probably about seven and a half, but you just have to get it over the top there. Get it over your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put two pieces together. This is the coolest. This is a, um, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. This is an anklet that has mood stones. Oh, I think it's hysterical. So it's a mood stone anklet and they change color your skin. This baby is approximately, I love this, it is almost 10 inches, so this would fit about me. This would fit me. So I'm going to put these two together, just cute as a button. And it's already changing color. Isn't that neat? So those two together. See what else can we do here? I got some pretties. Okay, I have this beauty. It is a woven set, orange, red, green, mauve, just too pretty. This is seven and a quarter. And with this, I'm gonna pair, I didn't even know I had this. I'm gonna pair this cute little butterfly and let's see if it says anything on it. No, I don't see anything. So we have this little rainbow butterfly here. So I'm gonna put these two together for five. This is approximately 18 and a half, or 17 inches, a little over 17 inches. And um, the chain looks great on this. Close. Very pretty. Okay, so those two together. We have a beautiful cross. Um, it has some AB stones. I want to make sure all the stones are there. The baby's in the bathroom shutting the cabinet. He's trying to help. <laughs> nope, this has got one stone missing, guys. Wow. This is so pretty. It's got a stone missing on the bottom. Not something. I'll put it over here. If anybody wants him, he's very pretty. If you buy a few things, I'll throw him in if you want him. Isn't that awful? Okay, this is a Kendra Scott. You have done nothing but sat here and sat here and sat here and nobody wanted you. I don't understand. Okay. Kendra Scott. It's her little druzy. Not something. Nobody purchased it. I still have it. I'm selling it for five dollars. And it is seven and a half, 14 and a half, 15 inches, guys. You can look her up. The only thing she doesn't have is a hang tag. I don't know where it went, but, or the extender, I think is what it's got missing. So this is a light gold tone that's in perfect condition. And the druzy is a creamy white, little opalescent, kind of uh, iridescent. Okay, five bucks. Next, you can tell I've got a lot of stuff if it's tangled. Okay, here we go. What in the world? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a Sarah Cove. I better keep this. It's a Sarah Coventry. Um, oh, wow. I wonder what happened to the pendant. Hmm. 
anyway i'm gonna keep this this is very pretty if anybody needs something for sarah, sarah coventry pendant and don't have the chain for it let me know i got one for five bucks very pretty um but i'm gonna keep it until maybe i find it i don't know this is marked korea this is very pretty so this is older you have the glass beads here and the gorgeous little um vintage herringbone chain on here it's that little thick chain it's nice and long very pretty and it's about 12 it's about 30 inches 32 maybe at the most Gorgeous. So we'll put that for five. Next, we have a pretty little rhinestone necklace. Does it go this way? Yeah, I think it goes this way. It's got the little hook clasp, and it hooks wherever you want it, up and down this area. And it is short. It is 14 inches at this top part. I don't have anything. Oh no, that's fine. I'm looking at it. I thought there was a missing stone, but there's not. So I'll show you how shiny these are. This is an older piece. It's very pretty. This is a rhinestone um, dream here for someone that would want to harvest these that they are prong set and not quite so easy to, I mean, easier to get out than most. But it's in pristine condition. I wouldn't do that. Okay, so that one's over there. The baby's coughing. Why are you coughing, baby? He is a busy beaver. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is just um, glass. I think it's trying to um, mimic um, rose quartz, but it's spectacular. It really is. It is kind of uneven up through here, and I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. That might be the way it's supposed to be. Okay, I think that says something. Let me look here. Um, let's see here. It says, no, it says something. I can't see it. Hmm. Well, since I don't have magnified eyes, it says, it says something. I can't tell. This is the back. This thing is so pretty. I would wear this in a heartbeat. Look at the back. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so this is 20 inches. Hi, pumpkin. <coughs> what are you doing? You wanna come say hi? Come, come say hi. You got food in the fridge. I okay. just got you some fries. Can you come up here and say hi? Can you say hi to the guys and girls? <gasps> Can you say hi? Hi, guys. Can you wave? <gasps> Can you wave? 